to talk a show based here on Joy News on Multi TV. And today, of course, um, it's rather unfortunate we have to start on a sad note. Today marks exactly the passing of the late entertainment critic Nana Texan. Our cameras were there and we'll bring you details of what happened at the St. Luke Anglican Church. And also, Shatawale has been moving from one media house to the other, and that's because of his upcoming album, yes, the Rain album, and yes. Uh, but this time, Becky actually went to his house to pay him a visit to talk more on the album. And then also, Aretha Franklin, yes, the soul singer, yesterday was a bit scary when we heard news that um, she wasn't well, she was at the hospital and her family members were gathered around her. Well, today there's some good news. Looks like uh, she's out of the hospital and uh, things seem to be okay with her. I'll bring you details on all of that. My name is Doreen Avi and the show is Let's Talk Showbiz. Let's Talk Showbiz. Now, if you just join me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz. And as I mentioned earlier, we are starting on a sad note. So today... We are starting it with Nana Texan. On the 7th of August, we received sad news of the passing of entertainment critic Nana Texan. And today marks exactly a week after his demise. It was so painful to hear the news. And so then I'm sure people are still in shock because uh, the thing is just um, something we are all talking about. Maybe until the day we'll all go there and see him being taken away to be with his maker. So today our cameras were there. Lots of entertainment um, personalities were there to mourn with the family as usual. And um, here's what happened at the St. Luke Anglican Church at Kwashiman earlier today. So I have a two texts in here, brother of uh, Nana Texan. Um, yeah. Today is a one-week memorial, one-week remembrance. I'm sure you've seen a lot of the media people here, a lot of friends and family. Yes. Uh, what, what do you have to say about on this day? Um, first of all, I just want to use your platform to thank everybody who has, um, you know, sympathized with us. You know, the news came to all of us as a shock, but um, we've tried our best that. Um, will be strong so that going forward we'll give our brother a befitting burial. Now talking about the memorial, we've seen a lot of people, some are coming, some are going. I'm sure it's going to continue throughout the day, but after today the focus is on the funeral and the family has announced the funeral date to be the 31st of August, which is a Friday, and then after that uh, we'll have a private family burial and then the Thanksgiving will be here at the St. Luke Anglican Church where we are standing on Sunday, the 2nd of September. So we are going to have the funeral right here? Yes, we are looking at this very place. Unless there are changes, this is where we would have it, the St. Luke Anglican Church, Kwashiman. So for those, okay, so can we, can we, this, this place is called what again? St. Luke Anglican Church in Kwashiman, yes. Uh, for someone like Nana Texan, is known by a lot of people, especially in showbiz. Um, are you prepared to contain the numbers? Because I know we are going to come from fire near. Uh, you know, that is why we've done this. In this particular instance, we were projecting that a lot of people will come. So we've made preparations for as many people as possible. If there's an overflow, we can always still make some arrangements. So with the funeral, the same procedure. We'll make room for whatever we can. If there's need to expand, we'll do exactly that. Well, some people, a, lot, a number of people would like to, you know, con send their condolences, write. Is there anything of that sort where people can write their last we, memories? And all we have a book of condolence, which we have placed beside his photo. If you go to the grounds, his photo is there. We have a book of condolence. If you have any message you want to remember him with, you can just put it there. And uh, we believe that going forward, the most important thing is for everybody to pray for his soul and then of course the family as well he's left behind a wife three daughters and then the siblings as well so you know and the parents it is not easy for a parent to have to bury their child it's very very difficult but we are trusting god so we entreat everyone to pray with us pray for him and pray for us as well yeah my general secretary of uh, artwork um, 
What, what memories? What memories do you have to share about uh, Nana Texan? Yeah, Nana Texan. As I affectionately call him, Nana T. He, he is a, a friend in the industry. Somebody I've known for a while, and it's it's it started as a professional relationship because we happen to have been on the same panel on Plus FM Entertainment Morning Show AM Plus. That's where we met, and we gelled along the line. And uh, the fondest memory will be when he decided to leave a legacy for the industry. That's a, he had a book he came out with, which he called The Success Journal. He approached me one day and said, no, this is what I have in mind. What do you think about it? I encouraged him. And when the manuscript was done, I had a rare privilege of reading through it and recommending. He bounced it back to me to proofread the book. And we've been friends since then. So for Texan, he's a typical consumer, uh, let me say, entertainment person. He loved everything arts. Uh, at the one week memorial of uh, Nana Texan, what do you have to say about Nana Texan on this very day, one week after his passing? Well, um, in fact, I think at, uh, the weekend before he passed, I was following him on Facebook. The interview with Shatawali, and as usual, he was very insightful, very deep. And very, very straight to the point as always. So um, that's that's what I remember him for. And and those of us at, at uh, the Arts and Tourism Writers Association, although he wasn't a member, his brother Atu Texan was. In fact, Atu Texan was our former treasurer. So if, if Atu has a funeral like this, it's our funeral. And although he wasn't a member, as I said, he was in the industry, he was a big shot in the industry. And that's why we are here tomorrow. I have so Chris Safo here, and I also have one, one of the now at Poet Ajimambeko. Um, so great. today we are uh, it's the one week memorial of our brother Nana Texan. What fond memories do you have about him? Well, um, this Rasta man here is an indication that I have uh, found memories. So, uh, Rasta, you can share with them what we all shared with our brother. Um, I, I don't know why he's putting me on the spot, but I mean, we can only be grateful for um, fun memories and experiences um, shared with our brother and colleague um, Nana Texan. And uh, first and foremost, I would want to express, and then on behalf of um, our senior colleagues who started this uh, panditry in media, um, our sincerest uh, condolences to the family, I mean, the wife and kids, and um, the entertainment fraternity as a whole, because um, a king never dies. Let's talk showbiz. Right, so that was how um, Nana Texan was being celebrated today. Friends and um, family members were all there, St. Luke Anglican Church, um, to mourn with the family. May his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. And uh, those were details right there. Now, I know Shatawale, or one way or the other, has said a lot of things about Nana Texan. And for even Nana Texan, would have wished to be alive to see what Shatawale would be doing now. So Shatawale has been, should I say, hopping from one media house to the other. And that's because of his upcoming album, The Rain Album. And yes, he's been talking about it. But this time, my colleague Becky paid him a visit at his home to talk more on the album. And the interesting bit, though, he said he's going to put the album on pen drive so that his fans can enjoy his good music. So take a listen to what Shatawale told Joy News' Becky. People talk too much. I mean, she, she's living in a mansion, and I wasn't living in my mansion. She drives cars, and I also, uh, when I said I only have one car, that's what I've done. So, I got my cars, she's okay. So, people should stop talking about her because yeah. sometimes she, she's not like me to endure all those things, and people should know she's a woman. That's why she's embarking on her shut oh, woman and um, women empowerment stuff because she feels. You know, people should understand the strength of a woman and support them in their own way. So, um, Ghanaians should really take time for Shata. I mean, she, she's a young girl, very bright girl, 24 years. She gets her own mansion. You know, it, plenty of girls in Ghana, we they do a link, link, they don't get the mansion. No, I beg. <laughs> no, but I'm not lying. Come on. People oh, should yeah. get support. And, you know, young girls like it. You know, I have girls on my snaps. Shout out to all the girls on my snaps who. 
like been telling me, Charlie, they see Shatter Mission as their queen, and you know, the SMD guys as well. They see her like you know, somebody who can really you know push the women, women agenda, you know, to a certain level. And you know, I believe the government should also support them. They are girls, you know what I mean? You want government to support Michi's project as well, right? The SMD versus women empowerment, you know, okay. government needs to like you know, because come in, Shatter Movement has the youth now. And I'm, I keep saying, no politician should see this as a joke. Okay. Because we are trying to let the youth know that without no politician or politician, we can still be who we want to be. Yes. And we are trying to build a whole world for ourselves. It will get to a time that the youth wouldn't want to vote again because Shatter Movement knows how to deal with stuff. Mm. You know, we are not violent. We just want people to respect us so we can move. That's why people are seeing us like, like all courts. People are saying we are Freemasons and stuff like that. But yes, when you go to Freemasons, you have to respect. That's what I mean. When you don't have that respect, there's no way. And that is how Shatter Movement we want people to give us that respect so we can be able to just move our things on and, you know, enjoy Mother Ghana. Yeah, and it's not me. So it's like that. Before mm. uh, the, we go, you need mm. to. I think you need um, that the media. Mm. You owe us an apology or something like that. Oh, how many times did I apologize? You to didn't media? apologize to me. Yeah, I've written a whole lot of. Oh, you have. You see, when you do it, you see that now. When you do it, another person will want like, to do it. Oh, and and then then we, we, we another person will do it. Another person will want to do it. Then the media will say, "I can't apologize." But I don't I, have any problem with the media. Okay. And they should understand that when they give me that respect. I also give them the same respect. Recently, I called Andy Dusty and I told Andy Dusty, Andy, when you wake up every morning and come on radio, and I say, shut up, say, no, shut up. No, that thing, I think police have to investigate about it. Hey, you want me to go to jail and leave my children? So you two go and say, oh, you know, then you get pissed. But you don't know I'm also a father like you. The way you want your kids, you want to spark your car, take your kids, that's the same way. So when you come on radio, Say things that will make the country develop. Don't come and say things for police. Because the police have big cases to take about. They come and talk about NTM police investigating an artist. You should make catch baby. Say why, Santi? Why, Why, almost went to jail for indecent exposure? Why, sir, wasn't matured. So he didn't even know what he was doing. He didn't know much about music industry. You should